Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to show you how to improve the performance of your Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G or non 5G model. This is a 5G model but I have as you can see here I only have a 4G SIM inside it. So in order to improve the performance of this phone you can play a little bit with the settings and I will show you how to do that. So if we open the settings menu, the first thing you need to do is to go under connection, more connection settings and disable this nearby device scanning. In this way, the device will not continuously scan for nearby devices, so it will save battery and the processor will have faster speed for other applications. So disable it. We go back. The second step is to go to display settings and here what you need to do is to play with the motion smoothness as you can see here now it's at 120 hertz which is of course very nice for the eyes but it uses a lot of battery and processing power so i recommend you to set it to standard that means that you will have a 60 hertz refresh rate for your screen and trust me this is enough the second step here is to change the screen mode from vivid to natural from what i saw if you have it to vivid it consumes a little bit more battery but also the phone is a bit slower so if you choose natural you will see an improvement at least this is what i saw when i was playing with these two modes and on uh, the screen setting this is it so now we go back so now after display we go to battery and device care here we select it and the first step is to go to battery and here you can see that the power saving mode is activated so basically this will if we go on it this will put some limits on your device so as you can see it will turn off the always on display it will limit the processor speed to 70 percent it will decrease the brightness of the device and it will turn off 5g so what I recommend you to do if you want maximum performance from your device, I recommend you to turn it off here and then you can have maximum power. Other setting here, if you go to more battery settings, you see here a box, it's called adaptive battery. You don't need to have this activated because this function will put some limits on some applications and you don't want that, you want maximum performance. So. This is all you need to do here in this battery section. If you go to memory, of course, you can clean a little bit the cache and the memory by tapping clean now. But this is just for the moment, so it will improve the performance for the next minutes. And then while you are opening application, the application will remain in memory. Okay, and this is, okay. and you can, of course, press optimize now and it will optimize a little bit the device but again this is just temporarily the next step and this is a little bit more advanced so uh, i do not really recommend you to do it if you don't know what you do but i will show you so if you go to about phone if you go to software information and if you click many times on, on build number okay now i have to enter my pin or your pin if you have one i enter my pin and now if you go back here you see another option which is called developer option so this is a hidden menu it's only for advanced users but you can do something here to improve a little bit the speed of your phone and also the way the screen moves so what you can do is go under the developer option here and you can scroll Again, I don't recommend you to play with these functions. Have a look at them. If you know what you are doing, do it. But what I can show you are a little tricks on the screen size. And so let's go to the screen section here. As you can see, you have three options. Window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. So basically by playing with this options here you will make the screen react faster or slower so as you can see right now 
everything is set to 1x. So if you want the fastest device, you just turn off the animations, animation off, animation off, okay? And now you go back and as you can see, everything is instant. So it opens automatically, it's very fast in the menu. You don't have that animation on the screen anymore. But I do not really recommend to turn it off completely. So what I recommend you to do is to go to settings, go to developer option, find again that section. Where is it? Here. And I recommend you to put it to 0 0.5. In this way, you will have a bit of animation and maximum performance from your device. And this is it. These are the tricks that will make your device be faster and behave better. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and also hit the like button. Thanks for watching.